gonna be May. Morning, everybody. It's May 1st. We just got dad loaded up for the morning. And uh, we're gonna take the seat tender to the field. And Devin and I got a bunch of little projects we gotta work on. All the three planters are rolling. Uncle's on seed corn. Dad's on seed beans. And Elio is finishing up commercial beans. The projects Devin and I are gonna be working on consist of seeding some uh, wheat headlands on the seed corn fields. Uh, we gotta do the one that Uncle planted yesterday. We have to seed some grass with a spreader. It's about a six acre patch. And we gotta work that in with a VT. Clean up around the shop a little bit. Uh, take care of some bags. We're gonna be filling up seed when uh, my uncle and my dad need it. everybody it is may 2nd and we are heading to go plant our last field of the season beans seed beans it is 200 acres roughly and uh so hopefully dad can get that done today there's a chance of rain tomorrow and just get her done i shouldn't really say this is the last bit of planting we'll have to do because we still have to go plant male rows on the seed corn field that my uncle finished yesterday. And uh, later, later this spring, we have to go plant some really early corn for a neighbor that he's gonna chop for silage. But he has rye on the ground now that he's gonna chop here soon. And then we're gonna plant corn over that rye. So then we'll be 100% done. But as far as, you know, the stuff that we can control, if dad gets done today, we will be done. Right now we're in that rye field that I was showing in my second video. Devin's looking at me all weird. So this rye is about knee high. And right now we're running into some problems with getting the seed deep enough. The ground is really hard. It's also got to go through this rye. So we uh, you saw me there. We uh, took the rows a little deeper and we're going to up the down pressure a little bit. All right, we did some digging. Everything's looking pretty good. The only spots we're concerned about is the bare spots where there's no rye. Cause that's really dry and hard, but everything that's covered and full growth of rye is looking really good. So we're gonna send it. So 
you can see that we've actually got some corn emerging out of the ground. It's probably an inch to two inches already out. That was the first corn that we planted this year. I believe that was planted on April 13th. So it's been a little over 15 days. So about two and a half to three weeks. So that's pretty impressive. It looks really good. The ground is really dry. So like I said before, hopefully we can get some rain tomorrow. Grabbing the 7800, we're gonna go see that little grass field I was talking about yesterday. We didn't have time to get to it. So we're gonna do it today. Hayfield's gonna be like a garden. It's been worked like three times for the BT. It's gonna be beautiful. What's up, everyone? Dejan Mustard out here today. What we're doing is we're gonna start a new segment that we're gonna call the mustard minute and what we're going to do during this segment is give you talk about the little unwritten rules around the farm the different things you do and shouldn't do things you may not think about on a day-to-day -day basis for mustard minute volume one you're going to be talking about field work now it probably seems pretty simple you just show up to the farm there's a bunch of space park somewhere and you're good for the day. Well, no, not around here. Now, there's a lot of different things to think about. You don't want to park in the way of equipment or in the way of traffic patterns or in the way of doors. So today, on this Mustard Minute, I'm going to show you how to park properly and the don'ts of parking, like what not to do. So let's get started. This is rule number one of do nots when it comes to parking. Never, ever, park with your wheels turned. It doesn't look right. It looks unprofessional. And most importantly, if someone gets in that vehicle to drive it and they just start going forward, look where the vehicle is heading, right for the shop. Don't mind that hole, that's from the direct show. But that is foreshadowing of what could possibly happen if someone got in that vehicle and just started driving ahead. Now it might be unlikely, but not impossible. Time for rule number two of do nots when it comes to parking. Never park in the way of 
fuel tanks. Our fuel tanks are primarily right here, and then we have another one over there. The only time you park a vehicle in front of the fuel tank is if you have a transfer tank to fill up, and once you fill it, you move out of the way, and you do not leave the truck parked there. Or if you're fixing one of the pumps and you have tools on the pickup to use. It's the only time you park in fuel tanks if you're filling or you're working on something. Other than that, keep that out of the way because trucks are coming in here to fill up or tractors are coming in here to fill up. So don't leave it in the way. Rule number three when it comes to vehicle parking around the farm. Never park in front of equipment and especially never park behind equipment. Because if someone gets in there, has to move, doesn't see it, especially if it's behind you and backs into it, it's in the way to the front and they have to move around to get away. It's just not a good idea to park in front of equipment, especially during spring when everyone's moving around. And obviously it just doesn't look like a good place to park anyway. The only time you would park near a tractor, in my case, is I have the def tank. If I had to fill def up or if you had tools or parts to put on, then you would park next to it. But for the main purpose, do not park near or around equipment if you don't have to. Rule number four when it comes to vehicle parking around the farm. Do not park in driveways that are high traffic, especially during harvest. You got the scale over there. Trucks are always coming through here and exiting through here. This one might seem obvious, but I've seen it happen before. People park in driveways or high traffic areas. That is big no-no. Rule number five when it comes to vehicle parking around the farm. Last, but certainly not least, don't park at dumb angles around a building. I know I'm parked next to the building, but I'm at a stupid angle. That doesn't make sense. Always park straight with a building or a grass line, on the side of a driveway. Always park parallel with whatever you're parking next to. Usually this alley between our shop and our barn, we normally leave open. But sometimes you temporarily have to park here if you're going in there to grab something or you're stopping in the shop to grab something or you got a trailer that you're pulling in here just to stop the shop quick. So what we like to do around here is park, no matter if it's a truck or a semi or whatever else, park so either the front of your pickup or the rear of the pickup is in front of the store or on the other side of the store so this is open right here. So when you walk in, you have a clear path coming out and there's not a vehicle right in the way they have to walk around especially if it's a semi truck because then you have to walk around about 50 feet that way or 50 feet that way so we like to just walk straight out so that's another big rule is don't walk walk indoors Mustard minute volume one vehicle parking around the farm a lot of this stuff may seem obvious but there's people that come here all the time park right in the way haven't been around here don't know what happens so it's stuff you got to think about key takeaways are parallel to buildings keep your wheels straight and don't park in high traffic areas so there you have it mustard minute over now let's go back to your original programming all right so we just got that little hay field seeded now devin's got the drill and we're going to seed some more headlands for the seed corn so this is a pretty big field so we'll be able to check some of it out on the drone
was just this random little spurt of rain just in this one little spot. Never seen anything like it. That's weird. wasn't able to get this last like 20 feet he didn't have enough room up here so he's gonna just plant a little bit in here not every day you find somebody's flip-flop in the field weird almost done 20 acres of corn to plant in alfalfa in two weeks but for all general purposes 20 21 spring planting is finished now we go full road on area 21 tomorrow gravel dirt work just getting after it later see you in the bunnies